welcome back to Whiskey and Wet. I'm Whitney and today's video is a DIY that gives me all of the like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Kirkland's vibes and it is all from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. For supplies I grabbed two of these Easter egg steaks, one wood bunny, one of the yarn bunny kits and then one of the words that are in galvanized metal. So step one is to prep your items. The first thing you're gonna do is dismantle the eggs. So I pulled off the back, but keep those, put them to the side. And then we're gonna paint our buffalo check. So step one is to give yourself a base coat. For me, it's gonna be a white base. And so I gave my eggs two coats of white and then I started with the buffalo check. So the key here is to start with vertical stripes that are even. And I use this little piece of tape as my spacer, just so then that way I know that each open strip is as wide as the paint. So for this black and white buffalo check, you want a middle color that's in between your base color and your square color. For me, in this case, it's gray, but it could be you know, a lighter color of that square color if you're doing like a pastel. Once those are painted, you're gonna let it dry and then you're gonna pull those strips off. Then you are going to do the same thing horizontally. I usually just start wherever I feel like it. And then I use that same technique to make sure that everything's spaced evenly. If you put your tape down and it's going over the edge, then you know you don't need any more additional strips. Another thing in this step is I took a pen and I marked where the white stripes are. And that's gonna help you because you're gonna wanna put that painter's tape back where you pulled it off of. So that's this step here. So once that second coat of gray is dry, I use that tape that I used before, went back in and you can kind of see it here where it's a lot lighter. You want to cover up those white strips again because then that's going to give you the ability to paint the squares where the lines overlap and that's what gives you the buffalo check. So then I use my third color which is the darkest out of everything here. It happens to be black. I'm using ink by Waverly and I went through and painted every exposed square and you want to make sure you get all the corners really well so it is a full clean square. I usually don't wait until they dry to peel off the paint. I peel it off and then let it dry just so your paint isn't going to stick or keep your tape down. So I peel that all off and then I let it dry the rest of the way. I also took Midwax Dark Walnut Stain and gave the bunny a coat of stain, just so then that way it had that farmhouse look. So now it's time to assemble your sign. So I took my two Easter eggs, flipped them over because I'm going to want to glue to the back and use the bunny to space out my eggs. Once I had them where I wanted, I used a glue gun to glue those stakes back on and that really gives you a solid base on the back of your sign. Once those are stuck, I flipped it over and then figured out right where I wanted to put my bunny cut out. And then once I had it in the right spot that I wanted, I took my glue gun and hooked that to the front. I made sure to also glue down the ears so everything was secure. And then it was time for details. So I grabbed that yarn kit just to save myself time. You can make your own pom-pom if you want. I chose the smaller pom-pom and stuck that on for the bunny's tail. And then I grabbed the word welcome and hot glued that on for the words there across the bunny. I put it down a little bit lower just so then that way it really went from egg across to the other egg instead of kind of hanging off there in the middle. And then I wanted to cover that hole that came from the bunny hanger, so I just used some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and added that to the top to make it look like a girl bunny. And then the last step was to drill two holes in your eggs, so then that way you could hang your sign on both sides. Added some jute twine and hung it up. customize this in a variety of ways you don't have to do buffalo check you could paint everything white you could put some of that shiplap contact paper on there's a ton of different options but with these items from the Dollar Tree I really like to think of them as not just what they appear to be in the store but what can you paint what can you make over you can always always make something better with some white chalk paint or some stain 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, share your projects on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. Be sure to tag me. I love to reshare them. And also hit subscribe down below if you haven't already so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Wit video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!